The girls' 15th region fast pitch softball tournament tomorrow at the Johnson Brothers Athletic Complex gets underway at 2 p.m. beginning with the 59th district champions, the Pikeville Panthers, as they drew the McGoffin County Hornets, two of this year's tournament favorites. Obviously a tough draw. McGoffin County's got a very nice team. Uh, they hit the ball extremely well, got solid pitching, so uh, you know, we'll have to play really well. We're excited about it. Our, uh, it's been a long time since we've uh, uh, won the regional tournament, so our girls, I think, are excited, and uh, uh, we're looking forward to the, to the challenge. And when you get into regional and district tournaments, uh, expectations will be high for all the teams that made it there. And, you know, now everybody starts at 0-0. Zero and zero. You know, you lose, you go home. There is no other, other game. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think not only for McGoffin County, the expectations are going to be high for all eight teams. Then in the second game of the afternoon at 4 o'clock, Betsy Lane and Belfry take the field, followed by defending 15th region champions, the Johnson Central Lady Eagles and the East Ridge Warriors. You've got good teams in this region. Uh, of course, expectations are that we're going to win it again. We want to win it again. But, uh, you know, Lawrence County and McGoffin and Pike were all three very competitive, very good teams that could, could beat us. Lawrence County did beat us this year. In the nightcap, the 60th district champions, the Lawrence County Bulldogs, pair up with South Floyd in the first round play of the region tournament. Game time for the softball tournament tomorrow starts at 2 p.m. and goes all the way until 8 p.m. at Shelby Valley High School. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Michaela Cauley.